did get an internet, I uh, thought I would record a little bit of the Outer Worlds. Um, all I've done is a quick test to see how this would look. Uh, I kind of skipped through a bunch of the beginning and that was about it. So, I have not seen much. Uh, I'd have to move the chair too. Yep, there my name. Uh, can't quite rotate chair. Uh, there we go. Good enough. And this here is the little cat tree thing that I have next to me. So maybe we'll have a new thing. He's currently napping on the couch next to me. Or couches that way, reference. So, um, I may end up moving where my camera position is. I don't know if this is the right spot. It looked okay. Anyway, hi. Uh, so The Outer Worlds is a game produced by Obsidian. Had to think... Um, developer name, uh, using a lot of the same designers and developers as Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and Fallout New Vegas. So it has a lot of the same vibe. It's the used 50s look of sci-fi. Only this as well. Space, obviously, given spaceship. And yeah, I'm just going to make a new game. Um, so one of the things, I'm going to point out the things that I've already noticed. Uh... There we go. Okay, um, the first thing is that it has a story difficulty, and I really enjoy seeing that. I'm fairly good at this particular type of game, so I'm not too concerned about that, but there's definitely some types of games where I'm terrible at the genre. Um, rhythm games are the most notorious one for me, and I think it's because I'm trying to balance off of a different- or I'm trying to base things off of a different rhythm or something, I don't know. Anyway, I enjoy seeing this. Um, I'm, pro I'm going to play on normal difficulty for reference because, well, I have, don't know any better, and I'm fairly good at this type of game. So let's go ahead and go with normal. Um, next thing I wanted to point out were the subtitles. So you have the ability to turn on and off subtitles in different situations. Thank you, thank you so much. Like, for instance, your conversational subtitles, where you can have them on or off. I prefer my subtitles on for reference. And these are, uh, the conversation subtitles are defaulted on. Uh, or you can even have it minimal, where when you're asked a question, you see the last thing that came up, or last thing that was asked, but that's it. And for people who get annoyed by subtitles, I can see that being useful. Like I said, I prefer to have subtitles on. Um, bark subtitles are just the random people wandering around saying things. So you can actually turn this off in order to um, focus on just what's being uh, said to you directly. Very helpful for people who uh, have issues with um, too many people talking at once. And then there's cinematic subtitles for the FMVs. Um, I'm going to keep them all on for now. I may end up turning bark subtitles off later on. You can change all of these at the same time. So I have a fairly beefy computer. Um, Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you I'll in the stars? I'll let the FMV go. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. You can definitely tell it's used 50s world given the prevalence of smoking. Oh, um, what was I saying? Oh, um, I have a very beefy computer, and it's taking a lot for my computer to be able to record this. I had to... the recording resolutions dropped down to 1080p ultra-wide, rather than the 1440p ultra-wide that I'm actually looking at this at. And I had to drop setting graphical settings down to high, because otherwise it was stuttering too much for the recording. In this case, you'll have a couple of frames that are dropped, but it's a couple, not constant frame drops, which is what I was seeing at default settings. Um, this is actually running at 120 frames per second for me because I have a very, very nice gaming computer. That's the nice way of putting it. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left adrift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. All right, and now we are in in-game rendering, which 
is much smoother for me. And this is our character creation screen. So, um, probably going to want to tweak audio settings if I can, because the voices were too quiet compared to the background music for me. So, um, we have six stats, um, in three different sections, body, mind, and personality. So we've got six stat points. I it ranges from muscular atrophy is practically a hobby of this colony. Below average is the lowest stat, and when you hit either lowest stat or highest stat, you get a little pithy comment from uh, that character. Name I've already forgotten. Had it before. Um, and the comments are different, so. Must remember not to sneeze near you. The below average ones are all sarcastic. Hmm. Nerve damage in your extremities. And if you go too fast, nothing. You're easily brainwashed. Glad I found you before the board did. You tend to miss obvious cues, like incoming walls. <laughs> You've been commonly described as odious and boorish. High blood pressure. Could keep you from blacking out, at least. Alright, so... I've already decided the general style of character I want to play. Um, when it comes to these types of games, I tend to have characters that have better conversational tone. Charismatic enough to give the chairman a run for his bits. So I'm actually going to be maxing out uh, Persuasion by concept. Oh, your test scores were better than mine. Almost. Almost. And then I've got one more stat point to throw in because I dropped my strength down. Unfortunately, it means my carrying capacity is kind of garbage. Ooh, they must have been feeding you Spacer's choice of rations. Which is kind of annoying. Um, the tactical time dilation, from what I've been told, is very similar to VATS from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and a little bit of Fallout 4. Plus one dexterity. So intelligence has long guns. Perception also has long guns. Arm doesn't have any weaponry. Intelligence. Long guns are really the only weapon that I'm starting with a bonus in. So I think I'm going to throw in the other one in person. We'll go with that. Okay, next. So these are our skills. You get two skill points, and that's it. But you get skill points in an entire, or two points for the category, I should say. I'm assuming each individual skill will level up on its own. Uh, this is a very similar system to either Fallout 3 or um, Oblivion. Or Skyrim, for that matter. Which is not too surprising, given that Obsidian worked on Fallout New Vegas. No, I'm going to go with dialogue you and stealth. Make a bigger doubt for law. If you wanted to steal from the rich, you've come to the right colony. And once more, you certainly know your way around the map. Hit the comments about each of these. Um, I'm thinking dialogue and stealth, but I may end up wanting tech instead. So you can mouse over each of these individuals and see what bonuses that you get. So I am starting with a decent long gun skill, and that's about it. All the rest of my weapon skills are terrible. Um, I am starting with a 40 in persuasion, which is competent level. So I can intimidate people, it looks like. Um, also a 40 in hack, so I can unlock restricted items in vending machines. That sounds useful. I don't know. I've never played this game, for reference. Um, all I've done is load up the game. But I could start with a fifth, uh, 40 in science. That kind of nice too. That's the problem. Your skills would have been wasted in a corporate lab. So yeah, that allows... I'm assuming tinkering is the equivalent of, like, sharpening weapons and so on. 
don't know. Also, it allows me to have better alchemy, I'm assuming this is the equivalent of. And just barely below enough. Oh. This is for repair. That's probably not a bad idea either. Just one below what's needed in order to repair. Maybe I'll go dialogue tech. Actually, you stealth tech. In everyone's pocket. That's not a bad plan. Um, I'll level up dialogue on its own, most likely. I don't understand why persuasion causes humans to cower, but intimidate causes humans to terrify and run away, or creatures. That sounds like very similar skills to me, but oh well, anyway. Aptitudes, these are hilarious. Um, these are the jobs that you had prior to being on the colony ship, and all of them are terrible jobs. But they all give a slight bonus. You're so much more than your designated profession. You were going to help us drown our sorrows. I hope you're not going to demand a receipt. With pithy comments for all of them, of course. Actually, wasn't my engineering one off of... Yes, I can get something that's plus one engineering. Like, say, for instance, the elevator operations specialist. And then start with a 20, which sounds like a good plan, so I can actually repair my own stuff. Not much risk of injury in this profession. You can sort of see the rest of the options. I'm making what I want this time. I really wanted to max out science, going with a scientist. A lab spread, eh? Huh. We all start somewhere, I suppose. A reasonable option. Not much risk of injury in this profession. Okay. Now we have the appearances. And I do have to say, while I'm not so happy about it being a gender binary, which kind of expected, what I do like is the fact that they don't lock any of the options based off of your gender identity. So, for instance, I can, in fact, have facial hair. Like that. And the randomize feature actually does use that. Yes, that's... Like that. Anyway, I'm going to make my own character. Is of course I am. Um. Right. Oh, I had a character before that I liked, that I didn't end up saving. Let's go back to default for. It's gonna be easier for me to modify from here. I think I liked head 15. Go for a darker skin tone. That. Eye color. We're going to have to go with green. But there's multiple greens. I do like that. So there's that green. Relatively realistic green. For realism. I do kind of like that purple pink. That's just creepy. Not go with creepy. That was the green I had chosen before. And that's a really nice purple, too. But I'm basically recreating my first character in both Skyrim and Oblivion. So I'm going with a very neon green. Now uh, you can adjust their brow. So when it comes to these style adjustments, I kind of just go like this and then slowly adjust based off of what I would like on the character. So... Uh, the eyes spreading back and forth always bother me so much. I almost always end up somewhere near the middle. Not go creepily, creepily large eyes, and small eyes are one of those uh, things for me. On video game characters, I should say. On people, none of that ever bothers me. It's just, it, I hit the, um... Crap, what is it called? Um... 
the term used when an AI is too close to being human, but just ever so slightly off, and it's a lot more bothersome than if they were very far off. Not an AI, but an artificial being. I can tilt the nose back and forth. I think the default one is probably. Make her nose a little bit larger. Yeah. That's it. Not have them sticking out because that looks a little weird. Hair time. We've got 30 hairstyles. I wish the game was a bit brighter. I do have the option of increasing gamma, but I have it set for what the game wanted me to set it to. So when you first launch the game, it comes up with a little gamma slider and it says um, adjust it until you can only barely see the uh, logo on the left type of thing. And I can only barely see it, mostly because I have a really high quality monitor. My eyes are fairly good. In fact, I'm not going to bother wearing glasses that's actually smudgier than reality. Thinking about going with a shy ah, shaved head, shaved head style look. Her. Look, the, these actually look really nice. End up going with that. Fun. That's more the style of hair that I usually go with with characters like this. I've noticed that none of these characters seem to have long hair. Which is interesting. I wonder if that's to make sure that helmets don't mess up. Yeah, that's as close as they come. Yeah, that's right back. Yeah, this was the hairstyle that I had before. Oh, it's using physics engine. See the hose moving around barely. Okay, um. Double versus not stubble. What? What are the dreads? It actually looks quite nice. Especially when I change them to neon green. Because everything's going to be neon. So that's one green. Nice. Two more greens. That one's probably the best one so far, so 16. Ooh, 24 is actually better. I like 33. Fits her better or not. So 24 or 33. Yes, I know. Riveting gameplay of me making a character. So the reason why I'm recording this is that um, my partner wanted to see what it would look like, and I'm sure other people would as well. And I have the game for free as a result of buying my CPU. I received a three month three months for free of the Xbox Gaming Pass for PC. 33 versus 16. I think 33 actually fits her. We'll go with that. Hair's not really moving. That's unfortunate. All right, facial hair. Or no, eyebrow style first. Really, it's just very similar eyebrows, but um, slight variants off of each. 
She definitely has eyebrows. You kind of like the shaved eyebrow look. So if I'm going to go with one, I'm going to go with 30. But at the same time, I also liked 24. And I kind of like the unibrow look on her. Get a bit of a Frida Kahlo thing going on. I think I can go with 24. Okay, facial hair. I've got. No, first let's get the color because otherwise it's not going to look right. I want the color to match. Or. Four. I don't know why the the colors aren't matching. So like there's 50 facial colors and there's 50 hair colors, but the colors don't quite match each other. Doesn't make much sense to me. You looking? Or maybe they do match, and it's just the shading. Yeah, I guess. They do. Okay, that makes more sense. Kind of digging the sideburns. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the sideburns. It has a nice... Um, kind of blends in with the hair, but not entirely. So you can tell that they're there. Yeah, we'll go with the sideburns. Alright, features. So makeup, once more, doesn't matter what gender you choose. Makeup is an option. That was the makeup that I preferred. I was looking at things before. I think it looks pretty awesome. Oh, it doesn't show up as well under the... Oh. That one looks pretty... Go with 16. or not definitely not coming for the trundest nosebleed that's also not makeup game I've already forgotten what number it was that I liked That one, that was 16. We'll go with that. Then we've got the dirt slider as per what Bethesda seems to be obsessed with lately. Uh, actually, some of these are not that bad. On. With that one. And then scars. Like that look. Mostly because of the way the shading works, it already looks like her right eye is a bit more dark than the left eye. So it makes sense that she would have a scar on her right eye. Maybe we'll just go with that. Yeah, we'll just go with that. And then the age slider. Um, I always find that I don't like the way they age. Because, um, I don't know about you, but they never look accurate in video games. Like, sure, that looks kind of like an older person. But to me, it kind of looks like somebody who's just in aging makeup. Rather than somebody who's actually aging. But we'll just go with that. Oh, I um, wanted to show... You can, in fact, switch identities, and you get the alternate version of it, which is a very different face. 
Anyway, we'll go with her. Oh, I'm just going to go with the name that I used for both my first Skyrim game and my first Oblivion game. If I can spell. Uranium. Hence the hair color. And yeah, Anyway. We're just going to go with that because otherwise I'm going to be here forever. And then this is the final, hey, look, this is what you're going to be starting as. It's nice. Let's go ahead and continue. I've been recording for nearly a half an hour and we're just now getting Looks to the game. Your lucky day, my friend. Phineas, that was his name. Right. Name one of the characters in one of my games that I'm a player in D D game that Not likely bootlickers. Bootlickers. Yep, this is going well. Initiate skip jump. Apparently skip jump is their hyperdrive? Zero two. Alright, we're back to gameplay again, sort of. This is still an FMV, though. Just rendered in-game. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Mark. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Get her alive. My ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! So the game crops off the top and bottom with an ultra-wide, unfortunately. They did not do the greatest of jobs making ultra wides work. Uh, a lot of console ports tend to screw that up. I'm a little disappointed by that. Also, things are squished rather than scaled properly. This is squished, for instance, as are all the FMVs. Notice he's less squished this way. His name is and notice and he should be waiting the giant bars on the right and left. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all colonists are counting on you. And entering the atmosphere. And you pass out. Well, if you can't tell, I upgraded my equipment to add. Oh wow, that frame rate's bad. Oh no. Oh, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. Yep. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away. Not there you stand go. there holding it. Frame rate's starting oh, to recover no a little sense bit. In letting his ship go to waste. Oh, or maybe not. Why is the frame rate so much worse now? 
I mean, I ran okay, this test on these settings. Drop this. Take off these. The fellow might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Yeah. Nasty way to go. Your recording's below 40 frames a second, even though I just recorded this over and over again. I don't understand. Hold on a moment. Let me pause the recording and figure out what might be going on. Alright, let's see if this is any bit... Nope, it's already starting to drop and... Nope. What in the world is going on? I just made this work. I spent two hours yesterday figuring this out. Ah. Uh, one moment. There, that should be a bit better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Well, I think I just drank a med kit. Oh well. Um, so the problem was that my GPU started overheating. There we go. That should work a bit better. I'm just going to do a loop around here really fast with a couple of settings and talk for a bit. So yeah, this game is beautiful. And again, and I'm seeing things in a much higher frame rate than you are. So pretend that, I mean, you're actually seeing this at a good frame rate. I wonder if I can bump up the settings a little bit. Let's find out. Or this would start frame drops. And this might have actually, yep, I'm already seeing some frame drops. Okay, I'm going to set it back to high just so the recordings. Um, when I'm playing this, I'll make sure it's set to ultra. Because that works fine for me. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. This is the point that I got to in the game before. So, apparently that's the idiot in question. That's the beacon thing, I assume? Uh, controls seem to be wasped. Apologies for the noisy clicking thing. If I would have been smart, I would have put the microphone on the opposite side. Uh, I might still be able to do that, actually. Hold on. E, microphone. At least where the microphone isn't right next to the keyboard. There. That should help a little bit. And then let's set the microphone to... Pretty good. That should reduce the noise a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out what in the world's going on. In the corner of my field of vision, but that's not... Oh, and I'm not blocking any part of the HUD. I should mention that. The HUD is in the top left and the top center. Space is jump. Good to know. Little critter, critter thing. Neat. Hello, tree. Still don't quite look like a tree, but hey, sci fi setting. At least better. to go under obstacles so that's sneak cool shift is sprint I appear to have a stamina bar that I'm seeing I just see somebody whose legs have been chopped off. All grass, rocks, or other covered to hide from enemies. Hold on, I need to move the microphone a little bit more because it's right. It for me, it's covering up those instructions. Also, my right here. You'll be able to see my no matter where I put my on, unless if it's on top of my head, and that's going to be a little difficult to balance with the. Um, I actually can balance things on top of my head, oddly enough. Oh, I like the grassing lay, grass lay down effect. It means I can actually see the ground. Those. Awareness meters over their head. Aware, unaware, suspicious, investigating, or... Oh, 
fuck off. Light thingy. It's on, but not plugged into anything. I'm There's an autosave. Oh, I forgot to mention, the difficulty levels included a survival mode. Um, if you disable survival mode at any point, you can't re-enable it. That's the highest difficulty. Not actually called survival, it's called something else. Little stuttery. Heck was that? Also, there's circles on the roof. Jim, those are those things. Did I take falling damage? Time to find out. Yes. Yes, I do. Good to know. There's a people. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Here, sit still. I can pat you. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Yay. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh, so what's the Spacer Choice thing? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Uh, not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We oh, capitalism. Control. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Oh, let's see. Uh, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh eating, law breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. They eat people. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hmm. Jim, this indicates decision. Oh, you get a little history thing. That's awesome. Um, you got a better idea. How about you give me the gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, I have to take that too. You can have my saber too for patching me up and all. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not good at any of these. Your weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Don't yeah. take this the wrong way or nothing, but. I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Go away now, but I've got a gun. Unfortunately, it's not a weapon type I'm good at. You know, weapon safety training. Weapons management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. You inspect, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. I can also repair them. I'm awesome. Yep. I can also put in a... So you have options as whether you have it set to show you the damage up at the top of a weapon or the DPS. DPS is a more useful number, so I'd rather have that. So currently the pistol is 100 DPS and the saber is 73 DPS. Probably because it's lower. But I am not good with melee weapons. Armor management. I 
they have the hibernation suit, which is from Spacer's Choice, apparently. Boost the tech skills by five. That sounds nice. Got my journal. Nice reference. Oh, these are things that you get to learn about. Like falling damage. Good to know that I know everything about falling damage. So yeah, Supernova is the name of the difficulty. I do not have fun. Trying to see the new messages. Just flagging them because I can figure out that part. Symbols. Yep. So we've got healing and an inhaler. Got Adreno. Modifications. Three quests. Junk. I do like how quest items are a separate section. So yeah, um, handguns we have nine. One-handed melee weapons we have three skill in. I'm probably gonna go with a handgun, just saying. We also have a reputation thing, apparently. So these are five different major factions, like. Much details, because I'd rather learn through plot. Uh, ooh, I do have health regeneration. That's good to know. My perks, which I don't have any perks right now because up. All right. Damage my ears. Oh, what had just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Basis choice happened. Rooms. One. Those things are cute. I've decided. Watch them be horrible in some manner. Oh, definitely not me. There was something up there. I'm going to adjust the audio while I was thinking about it. Right, music down some. Next down a bit. Little time dilation. Due to complications stemming from you being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the TTD button, which is Q, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. I have a limited amount of time, especially since I, um, well, have a penalty to strength. Some objects explode when hit. Good to know. Neat. Double click the jump button to dive left, right. Oh, neat. Do you have any loot? Yes, you do. Neat. I have a new item. Do it in the inventory. I do. Is the same items I had before. Hey. Okay. Hello, furry friend. Oh. 
Bit cartridge. Oh, it's money. Got it. Cool. Hacking and picking locks. Oh! Your skill's high enough, you can see how many locks that you need. Neat. Unfortunately, I need three more of those things. Our mac and cheese. Our mac and cheese, really. Three sliced bread. B R E D bread. Good job. So well, that's intentional, I know. Fish sticks. S T I X. Uh, that's definitely a toilet. Toilet. Okay, now I actually have enough fix. I have a telescoping staff. A two-handed melee weapon. Well, that's better than what I had before. Not that I have anything else in my other hand, so... Actually, it's worse. Block. Swing. Okay. Neat. Anything else over here? Nope. Going back to stealth mode. I really like how you can actually see under the grass when you're stealthing. see me. Good to know. Ah, kill animation. Got it. Rebuilt mining gear. Ooh, that's equipment. There's his arm. It popped off from me shooting it. Okay, cool. Armor. Better than what I... Yes. Not using tech skills right now anyway. Oh, and it looked like it need repair. Okay, so that's how durability works. Of ten thousand in this case. Fine. Ooh, appearance. So yeah, I definitely like the appearance of the rebuilt mining gear better. Where's the other ones that I shot? Uh that one's missing all sorts of limbs. Cool. Yeah, what is Adrena? For life's little ouch. Getting drunk? Really messed up bananas. Just saying. Bunch of nanners. Nanners. Can't get at their legs. 
Also, why are their legs popping off? I'm using a pistol. Things? Yes, give me more ammo. I'm using two. Likely. I'm starting to think taking the strength penalty was a bad idea. Know if you can increase stats for the rest of the game. Hopefully you can. I'm assuming this is where. That looks like a ship. Private tenant. These look like friends. Killed. Okay. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Yeah, well, uh, one of your teammates is holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Uh, well, I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid really? from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift cannibalism that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Back down for the challenge. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, file a full report, that ship, and file a full report. <laughs> then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. I was not trying to convince them to fight things, but okay. Talk to you. Okay. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. I paperwork pshaw. What about private? Marauders, deserters, illegal landings. What is this colony coming to? here yeah i i have um shiny problems in game uh what are you you are something that i need to save the game for i think oh i get xp for discovering things too <laughs> eh forget it actually progress plot until I know what the heck I'm doing. <sighs> plot. <laughs> so this is the way that you have fast travel. Um, I remember it seeing in the um, supernova difficulty you can only fast travel back to your ship. I'm assuming this counts as my ship. Contains no valuable plunder. Ooh, that field of view. Ugh, I need to change it. So, um, since I'm playing on an ultra wide, that means that the field of view is different than that of a 16 by 9 monitor, which is what this game would be based off of. That looks really stretched. I probably need to adjust. It's the unreliable. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Love place. I want to see what's in here. 
Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. <laughs> Sawed off shotgun. Uh, what? Oh, it's a broken sawed off shotgun. This is to teach me how to repair. Okay, let's repair that saw. Here, that. Ah, it costs weapon parts. Good to know. I don't have enough weapon parts to repair. Also good. Cost balls. Okay. Sleeping bed. That's nice. Or I might need to rest and meditate upon what I have learned. How do you... I'm liking hot. Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make Oh, you can respec. Sweet. Not real items, their scenery. I'm up further, so of course I'm going to do that. Ooh, a kitchen. Neat. Cards and, um... Somebody charring the cards, apparently. Camera. Looks like it's not actually a cooking station, it's just... Hey, look, you have a kitchen. Ooh. Take things out of the fridge. Thanks. I wish I could just put Marauder, away my gun. Please be informed. The ship has no crew for you to murder. I actually do the thing I'm supposed to do. Then I'll investigate more. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. That voice sounds familiar. Where? Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. <laughs> please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, Hello, Marauder. the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Um. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Genesis procedures initiated. Please engage in airlock. <laughs> <laughs> Realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to explode. Okay, this is the best spot. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Red smear under my escape pod. No, I'm trying to be a nice character. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Uh, yeah, nope, I'm gonna have to be snarky. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. Uh -huh. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Of course. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your positioning <laughs> remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. Ah, it's landing. emergency landing. That makes sense. The main sense. drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I do have engineering, so... Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement 
follows with an acceptable parameter. Got it. Need to repair the ship. Capacity Understood. Power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of Worcester Settlement. I have taken the liberty of sending you a new captain's identity <laughs> cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. I like her. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Viable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> and I leveled up. Congratulations, you have gained enough XP to go up a level. Been recording for an hour. I'm aiming for like an hour and a half to two hours on this. Okay. Yep. Gives you stiff. Skill improvements. Ooh, I get 10 points. Nice. Paint. I should probably increase ranged weaponry in some manner. Perks. Perks are more important. Get a new perk point every two levels. You can also gain perk points by accepting flaws. I was told about the flaw thing, so it might come up where, hey, look, would you like to take this flaw? If so, you get perk point. Apparently that's antique. So, more health. Time dilation. Perfectly normal. Increased damage when alone. Walk speed, ooh. Luster ability. Acumul. Fast travel when encumbered. Ooh, my partner's gonna like that so much. Increased XP from companion kill. That's kind of interesting. I think for the time being, I'm going to take the increased walk speed because I'm a sucker for any time. Fly. That's fine. Um, I'm a sucker for anything that increases base movement speed. Could just increase this up. Increasing this by don't need to increase it by one because I'm wearing the mining gear though. So yeah, no, I think I need to actually increase my ranged or dialogue options. We'll do that. And then I have one more. We're on defense. Dialogue combat skill. When the correct type of target, they're automatically debilitated. Okay. There's just like a way to mark all as red because that would be nice. Use Ada. Okay. Well, since I am the captain, these surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. That's creepy. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Prox 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Of course, I haven't found what I need to repair. I need weapon parts.
but I can break these down for weapon parts. Okay, that makes more sense. Down a couple of those sabers. Thought off. There we go. Go ahead and equip this off. Nice. Use the same ammo type. Even nice. Start exploring the ship. Get real explanations for. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. For Alex. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Got it. Engine room. Hi, Ada. Or Miss Lovelace? Mix Lovelace? We'll go with Mix Love. Algae Logger! I did not notice that. Due to catastrophic power failure, that's why the doors are closed. Okay. Security lockdown. Fine. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone. But he always had needs. Poor AI. He's so lonely. What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. Okay. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Space's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Hmm. I'll lie. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past nice. the cemetery. Also, I like uh, your hair. Excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Of course. <laughs> okay, so far I'm liking this game a lot better than either Fallout 4 or Skyrim. Okay, that's where I'm going. that now all I have are iron sights so it's really hard for me to also this world is very pretty especially at night maybe I should actually I wonder if I'm getting blur from the sides do 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 wipe off glasses so so far you're seeing this game What's up so far? So, again, this is a very similar style of game to like Fallout 4 or Skyrim type. That was a puppy. Feral puppy. Oh, waste not, want not. Oh, I remembered that there was something over there. I think I would like to see a little bit more of the game before I start exploring off in a random direction like kind of sacrilegious to me, but I think I'm actually going to follow plot for at least until the point where I actually get to the town. Shotgun works. Shotgun works well. I 
didn't harm you. Really? Aw. Presidents are dead. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should have specialized in shotgun because that's just fun. There was more than two that were. There's the other one. No mining helmet. Oh, that was another thing. Um, You can choose to just keep helmets not visible. Identical. Flip the helmet. Setting. Graphics? There we go. No helmets. Helmets are universally terrible looking on people. Much better. to harvest. The here will be a little disappointed that I can't take the mushroom. Collection off of moon. One of the moons. That's a planet. Maybe. Could be a moon with a ring, I guess. Ooh, Aurora Borealis. Ring on this planet. A moon and another moon. Very pretty. That is. Super Trooper, Silas. I don't know who a Silas is, but they're friendlies. Graveyard? Graveyard. <sighs> Tend to steal yet. Running around in a marauder's attire, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Uh, that's safe fair. Safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Captain of the Unreliable. <laughs> I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. <sighs> Definitely not the junior in humor, that's yeah. for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop <laughs> by Reed Thompson's office. Reed Thompson. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into <laughs> town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Not for me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting That's not creepy money. as hell. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just... Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my grave, you see. Hence the, the armed guards. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Space what? company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. 
You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wild. Oh boy. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. You know, every so often, it's plaguey. Our body grows accustomed. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life, work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise, only problem's the paperwork. Okay. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. I could really go for some salt tuna. I have salt tuna. Ooh. Pretty. That's kind of creepy. Okay, not just kind of creepy. Very creepy. Well, this place has seen better days. Squished. Don't like the squish. Trays because we're dealing with the used 50s future. Day old salt tuna. Salt tuna. Everybody's doors are sealed. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Is this sick house? Get in. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me because I'm sick. You don't sick. want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. <sighs> Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagues. You don't want what we've got. Got some training. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is or to understand. Do not get sick body. because of moral failing. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. Mousies. Last deal. Ah, these folk are dead. Toilet. Fun. Well, at least they have toilets. Take something inside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. X cobblestones? Oh. Well, I like the game, but the setting might be a bit dark for me right now. Barbershop. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted <sighs> off a corpse. Fine. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Ooh. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad, 
You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary rest. You're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Fiddless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. I despise the cereals. Tell <laughs> Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work... The law is capitalized, I'm noticing, so it's a worship of Frankly, law? I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place... Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to... Much obliged. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to switch outfits so they stop yelling at me. What can I do for you? Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Experience was my teacher. Experience and... So, you want to be an embalmer, brochures one through five, courtesy of the Spacer's Choice Department of Career Development. That's a dead guard or a sleeping guard? Well, now that it's that way, I probably can steal. I'm betting this works very similar to the others of... You can't see me, thus you can't catch me. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. This is almost over the top enough for me to not get down from everything, but only almost. McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned her. Cannery could use those extra hands. Now that voice. What we can do about that? Sure there is. We can have another zero G. I don't know you. Uh huh. The unreliable, you say? The unreliable. Any company supply ship with that particular name? I don't know what you're about. But this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea mm. how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. <laughs> Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into mm -hmm. the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that famous... Uh, oh, modern house. mercantilism. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway... Enough about them. What can I do for you? Coming right up. Merchant skill. Right, I can buy zero G brew. Buy two hour energy brew. Tease.
plain and pure water. It's only 99% water though, and the rest is, yeah. Now with 11% more natural water flavor. And dehydrated water tablets. Water without the hydrogen or oxygen, no air. Now available in carbonated. Nice. I have 4% discount. Taste the freedom. Sorry, got a lot to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. I almost Simple liked that. you, Amelia. Go ahead. I don't see how that's any of your business. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. I wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Was the um, so but, I did the right thing but, and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like, when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero G? Huh. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Science has been used. It back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong, and for that, I am grateful. They did. They gave me a life. What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. They do if you have a dishwasher. Glasses don't fill themselves either. And they also Unless do Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Not so fast. I told you about my mm. life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? That right. Prove it. <laughs> oh, I know that serial drama. They were playing it just the other night. What was it called? The Last Spacer? You're right. I don't believe you. I'd advise you to keep that story unsaid. Don't want people thinking... Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three-drink minimum. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. <sighs> Anyhow, I know I'm not whatever happens much, outside but... the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there, and I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls. That... Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things <sighs> I've got no right to know. People will talk. <sighs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. And be satisfied with our lot in life. I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. Creepy.
Bathroom. With hand dryer. Nice. Ooh. Bar is lock picking. I do not have four of those pick things. Funny things to steal. Well, time to start stealing somehow. I mean, it's not an RPG if I don't steal everything not on me. Does it show up as stolen in my inventory? No. It does not. Eat. Oh, I think there was an option to have items highlighted, even not just move. Why that? Interesting. So all of those dialogue options, they're only showing because I have this option up. Interesting. Okay, that works. Sliced bread now with less A's. Your A's. Give me your money. Acer's chaw. Is that like fake chew? Yep. Nicotine. Lovely. Recommended by 10 out of 10 medical professionals. Gross. Just gross. Huh? With it. That one is not, in fact, stealing. I make that jump. Yes, I can. Neat. That was a bad idea. Oh well. General store. What do you got? It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Topsit. He's up in his tower. Tower above, above the cannery. cannery. Music to my ears. Ooh, you have weapons. I have 56 bits. I don't have enough to buy anything, but you have weapons. <sighs> ah, they do actually have long guns.
Oh, well, I can. It's just the chest. Okay. Birdie. Lots of people wanted for murder. Unlicensed practice of medicine. Oh no! Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. I know how you feel. Thank you, constable. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted crimes. But? Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? You're correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. Oh, hey, look, it's terminals like Fallout 4. Got it. When life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at Spacer's Choice. Nice. Okay. Just looking at the propaganda posters. Wish we had some better rations. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken, <laughs> that's old Abernathy. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's yeah, pretty much. domicile, pestering him about his mental state? You don't know that. Uh, I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You uh. sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear she'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage. You can't skip through dialogue options. That is hey, one downside. Hail and healthy and. Possibly for hire, ain't ya? Uh, do it. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in. Nab that medicine and break... You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, no, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Well, he just wants money. Look, I got my gravesite fees right oh, here. Oh, okay. See? Sweet. I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine. Ooh, you have the gourmet salt tuna fee. Lays. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Really? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Hmm. 
All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So okay, I'm that's fair. You. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of lawbreaking. That's actually a fair answer. The wrong thing for the right reasons. That's all I can ask of you. Almost lost a finger in the tannery today. Already got a moral quandary and I've barely started. Bench. Ah. Almost looks like um, a power armor <laughs> station from Fallout 4. Ooh, somebody's got a nice house. That's a... None of this counts as stealing, so take everything. Ooh, purple berry fizzy tea. Tropical tea brewed using soda water. That sounds disgusting. People seem to be playing a lot of older board games. Control to F7 enter to compose a new entry. I wonder what happens. All, all it does is the alt enter. Hindu Mahdi? Hitting jump by accident. More board games. Button. And bathroom. I am happy to see that every bathroom. Oh, that's back. House. Hey, 
Did you hear about Wilson? There's marauders down in. Not Wilson. Between us, Wilson was murdered. Found his men. Ran off with a second man. You're kidding. Dang. Almost thought he was made of sticky stuff. Pretty strong Marika vibes here. Back outside. Actual cannery. This is literally the entire town. Here. Two to four weeks notice for scheduled sick leave. You have to pay me for your sick leave. Uh... Vending machines. And with a hack skill of 20 plus, I can sell items to the vending machine. One of the Oh, I actually have better armor. Good to know. Parts are. I don't know what. Ooh, odds. Yes. Really? <sighs> okay. Awfully silent cannery. Uh, that's creepy as hell. to me I'm going to steal the lock kill us I passed that Probably just going to finish up this area before continuing. Uh, before stopping. You are the person. The new worker. Who I just broke in. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my grave site. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. 
Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest oh. living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Hmm. Delicious. Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his oh. body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see. So That's I pay the fine. Suicide the crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. First of all, that's a horrible thing to say. Secondly, well, yes, yep. we did. When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had... Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fee, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Somebody's been spinning a tale about a lost colony ship. Talk like that'll get you reported real quick. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the uh. Spacer's family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. What's on your mind? Creep. Really freaking creepy. incandescent ish light bulb. Don't mind if I take some more loot. Lockers. Ooh, that was a grenade launcher, too. Nice. Yeah, let's pick the. Body comes at a discount. Treatments. Three. Two. That this is being played for. This is a horrible thing. A large portion of the U.S. that. I mean, this is for a quest, given that, you know, it's a quest item. Here. Kind of worthless. Oh, do I actually have enough to buy a good weapon? 
Oh, sawed offs or long guns? I didn't realize. Explain why that was. Wait, was that a glaive? Grip blade. Ah. And an impact hammer. Actually, a long gun? It is. Well, gonna be my preferred weapon then. No. I don't understand that. Bit more durability. I know that's the durability gauge. Understand that. Fastball stick is strictly better. Fastball stick is better than tossball. Tossball blocker does a lot. Master. Oh, it's two handed versus. Break down parts because parts are useful. Here. Keep that moving. Okay. We are right at about two hours. I'm blanking the game. I don't know if I'm going to be too affected by the game dark, but it seems to be so dark that it doesn't bother. Is good. That's level of dark I can probably handle. There's four locked. There is something back there. How do I get there? Armor parts, too. Ah, the diamond thing is pristine. Good to know. So they're worth more. If I were to break it down, yeah, it only gives me three parts, but it's worth more. Okay, that's... Trying to find read. Ah. There's something inside the wall somewhere. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't past it. Wrong direction. You're right. Yep, there. What 
can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? Ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all the <sighs> minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Eugene was not a suicide. He put yeah. a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's no largely way. a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. What can I do for you? A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. Mm. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing Ism? bomb upon a feverish head. Scientology? Or so you'd expect. Or is this where law comes from? We'll find from. him in our local church. Well, he doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and it... Go ahead. The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, whatever it may be. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all. Nature is monstrous. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not so. As the good vicar says, work. Spoken like somebody who has 10 ammo in their chest. Okay. I have never seen an outfit like yours before. You know. I don't want any trouble. Output that has a different effect on what a type of person to lead a corpse. For everybody. Put him down. What's he doing? You're literally shooting mice. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. To a bit of an to the game, I guess. Talk to you later. Bye, Internet.